Hi, I'm Ben Turpin and welcome to Whipfish Industries, the final step in your fly fishing experience. Today we're going to talk about the little black caddis and specifically we're going to work on the little black caddis larva which is actually orange. So if you're in a stream in uh, late March, early April and you've got some little black caddis around, you have to remember that the larval stage of this insect is actually an orange larva. If you flip over the rocks, oftentimes you'll find these little tiny orange worms. They're, they look like orange worms, they're actually the black caddis larva. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a Dairiki size uh, 18, model 135 scud hook for our hook, and we're gonna put on a gold 5 uh, 64th bead. That's what matches that size 18 hook. We're gonna use some light yellow or Cahill colored thread to match our fly. And we're just gonna wrap on right behind the bead and make a little base of thread. We're gonna take a little 15 thousandths lead wire and I like to pin that up underneath behind the bead to keep the bead from moving. And then we're just gonna take a couple turns of that lead wire to help weight the fly, get it to the bottom a little quicker. The more weight we put in our fly, the less weight you're gonna need on your line. So we're gonna make a smooth transition from our lead back down to the hook shank, and we're gonna wrap our thread down to the bend of the hook. The body on this fly is fairly simple. All we're gonna do is take a strand of uh, light orange uni thread, or uh, uni floss, which is a little thicker. We're gonna tie that in at the bend, make sure we have it nice and secure, and wind our way back up to the bead. If you take this thread, give it a little twist, we're gonna form a nice segmented looking body. Make sure you keep twisting it. I twisted it there and it jumped a little bit. So we want continuous touching wraps as we wrap the floss back up the fly. Again, every so often give it a little twist just to keep it all together. Once you get back up to the bead, we're gonna take a couple turns, secure our floss, trim it off. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of orange uh, ice stub, just to give it a little flash in the thorax. You can see I don't have a ton of it on the thread, just a little touch of it. Make sure we cover up any loose ends of the floss. And then we're gonna whip finish our fly behind the bead. This orange caddis larva is very effective in the early season. I think it's got a little bit of a flash and it's a bit of an attractor pattern as well as an imitation of, of the orange uh, caddis larva, which is for the black caddis fly. So little uh, interesting fact there about the insect life in the streams. Uh, this is a very effective fly for me in the end of March, beginning of April. If you scroll down through the list of materials, you'll find the floss, you'll find the hook, the bead, everything you need to tie this fly. So I think that this would be a, a wise fly to have in your box in, over the next couple weeks. We thank you for watching Whip Finish Industries and we'll see you next time.